The New York Times investigation that revealed migrant children were hired as workers at a food manufacturer in Kent County has sparked outrage and concern about hiring practices. Mike Fedig is the CEO of Fedig Jobs, an employment agency here in Grand Rapids. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you, Michelle. So your agency works with manufacturers of this kind. What was your first reaction to hearing this? Well, I was personally saddened to see that that's happening in West Michigan. I hope that it comes out that maybe it's not true or uh, whatever develops I'm not as tied to either of the businesses that yeah. were named in the in the story but obviously it's saddening to hear that teenage kids are working nights to try to make it and in those kind of conditions it's yeah. an, not a not a normal scenario so you had some of the companies that you do work with then contact you to say how can we how are we making sure that this isn't happening yeah yeah we did we had many customers say you know are those what types of practices are you doing yeah. to make sure that this doesn't happen at our work site? And so um, it starts on our team with proper screening of I-9s and documentation to make sure that we're vetting those people that know that they are legal age to work in, in those environments and things like that. And it starts with just proper training. Yeah. Okay, good. Because then you then supply or th supply the information then to get these workers to these kinds of manufacturers. Yeah. The staffing industry, uh, this would not be a practice of, their, of our industry. Yeah. Our industry has been a, a gateway to great career opportunities for many people for a long time and the way that businesses have onboarded people is through our services. So we go to find people um, and we give them job opportunities at different local businesses and uh, the businesses expect us to do the vetting practice as to whether or not the employees are eligible to work there. And and so that's what we do and that's what we deliver every single day. And, and um, it's not a practice of West Michigan where we see it often that we bump into businesses employing children or things like that. So West Michigan has been a great community and I don't think that this uh, instance that we saw on national news is something that is consistent throughout our community. Okay, not common practice here. No. What can companies, what can businesses do to make sure some of the things that you are doing, what can they do themselves? So training of the people that are doing hiring is where I would say it starts and then creating a good um, auditing practice and compliance to, to double check and make sure that, the, that those teams that are doing the hiring are doing a great job of following the practices and the procedures. Yeah. I would start with those two things. Um, there's also some uh, some software programs that are available that you can use. One of them is E-Verify. It's a, a government product that you can vet to make sure that all of the documents that were being presented, which it's really easy for people to get their hands on false IDs. Mm -hmm. So I presume that many of these workers are, are finding false IDs that are not theirs and presenting those. And if you're not using the right softwares, I think that it's able to, you're able to get through that system uh, and not catch them. So yeah. finding and identifying the, those things would be where I would start also. Do you feel like, and will this make you be just that much more aware, and other companies too in West Michigan, just that much more aware to make sure it's not happening? Yeah, I think that many people are, are taking a, a second look, and, yeah. and that's where we got a few calls from some of our clients to say, what are you doing to make sure that this type of thing doesn't happen at our work sites? Uh, many businesses should be taking a time to look at all of their practices uh, as it relates to hiring to make sure that they're following the proper rules that are set place. And the, the key is to keep people safe. And we don't want to hear that kids are working on plant floors around machinery um, when they're not supposed to be in that environment. They should be in the schools and, and, um, and having that kind of a upbringing, not a work-related one here in our backyard. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, we appreciate the information. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Yeah.